I'm Rob with Longevity Learning Lab. I just got done working on my brother-in-law's motorcycle. Had to weld on some of his aluminum case there that covers the, the chain guard. And uh, I used the, the spool gun we got, our spool gun 140. And I uh, wanted to see how it works out. And it worked out pretty good because where I had to get into, I couldn't really get in there with the, the TIG welder. And this went in there and just zapped it right quick. And it uh, turned out pretty good. So uh, this is compatible with our 140, the MIG Weld 140, and uh, what is it, the, the MIG Weld 200S. And uh, I'll go ahead and uh, I'll break it down again and uh, set it up for you and show you how easy it is. I mean, it's really easy. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. And uh, let me get the bike out of here and I'll see you in a minute. Okay, here's our MIG Weld 140. And that's right, I've got it hooked up right now for just the, the steel. So we want to disconnect this, obviously. And uh, the spool, I've got one of the, the bigger spools in here. And then we're going to go ahead, leave that. Because with the spool gun, you've already got the wire right there in the gun. So when you disconnect everything, you can leave that there. It's not in the way or anything like that. But you also have to remember, being a DC welder, okay, just because it's DC, you're still going to be welding aluminum. So you got to change your gas. So the same fitting in the back. So I've got it set up now for the 100% the argon. Whereas before when I was doing the steel, I was doing the 2575. The argon 25, the CO2 75. That's already taken care of. And this is still running on a 110. Now the wire gun, the spool gun, has got the spool in there and it's going to come with the spool of aluminum. Okay, here's our spool gun we're going to set up here and uh, show you what it comes with. It just comes with your manual, a couple extra tips, and then the gun's here. Unfortunately, the, the wire, do you have to get, we recommend our longevity, the aluminum wire here. This is a 035 wire and it slips right in there, but I'm not going to use this one here because it's nice and clean. I'm going to keep it that way for you guys out there. And uh, so I'm going to use the same thing, but I've got a gun I've already used. And i got a wire that's already opened up. So, first things first. The big 11 pound spool here, we can go ahead and leave it in, but we have to disconnect everything else obviously. Okay, so we'll just do that right quick. Get this out of the way. Snipper wire. Okay. Put this in a nice safe place. Now the good thing about this, you can leave the, the 11 pound spool in there because it's not in the way for anything. And what you do have to remember though with the, the 140 here, there's a switch on the inside and it'll, it'll show you the spool gun or the regular gun. So you have to make sure that you got it switched over to the right one. And that's pretty much you're done with the inside of the, the unit now, other than just tightening it up. Because there's no control on the gun here, except your little wheels here, your drive wheels. And so all your controls are still right here in the front panel. So we'll go ahead and get this hooked up here. Real basic, real easy. And see all this is here, this is just for your gas flow. And with the gas flow you want to use the, the pure argon for, for my purposes with the aluminum, the pure argon which I, I'll hook up and still goes in the same fitting in the back here for your argon 75, um, 25 mixture, argon CO2. So get this hooked up. And then when we get ready to put the gun together here, it should go ahead and drive it right on in, but you do have a tension um, setting here. You just screw it in and turn it on. Now when you put the spool on, it's just the same thing like with the big spools, the wire will come around across the bottom into the feeder. Well here, the feeder is closer to the top, so you want the wire to come across the top and then go into it. Okay. I like these little guns. They're, they're really lightweight. They're about three pounds. And then our spools, they come in the uh, 035 
Oh, size. Oh, four, 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 five, two, I'm pretty sure. But this is so like if, if you into, opposed to the TIG welding for me anyway today, uh, I can't get in there and uh, so I had to use this. So make sure it's all nice and set up there. And this is where your tensioning is right here. Just like that. And then watch your fingers when you put it in here. Don't lose control of the spool. Oop. Then you get it set and then when it comes over the top, you're all good to go. So then we got our spool going on. Loosen that up a little bit. There we go, just like that. We get our top back on here. Get my gas hooked up and we're ready to Lay some beads here. I need to practice on my aluminum anyway. Anyway, there you go, let's, let's do some welding. Okay, now you have to remember too, now this is more, it's dirtier than TIG welding. Okay, so you're gonna have all that smoke, you're gonna have all that noise. It's uh, best to use uh, your ventilation, uh, your smog hog on this. Um, your gas flow is actually gonna be a little higher. Okay, so, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to push it, and I'm going to just want to go ahead and go fairly fast. This is some thin material here, so you'll see how I'm going to go. You can whip it, you can just go ahead and go a stringer on it. I'm going to do a little bit of both. I'm going to go back and forth on it here, just to fill it in, and just to show you how easy it is. And like I said, your, all your speed control and your amperage is on the main unit, on the MIG Weld 140, that's not in the gun. This is just your tension on that. So let me go ahead and turn my smog hog on and you probably won't be able to hear me for a minute. Now you see how fast that goes? I'll do another little one right next to it. I go backwards with it. It's not too bad. A little, a little dirty. Take a wire brush to it. Like I said, I personally, I like to go forward with it. Yeah, a little crooked, but hey, what, what can you do, huh? Now let's try one here without the ventilation. Maybe you can hear me better. And then you just go like that, keep, keep your time. Yeah, once the material heats up, you get better penetration. It looks a lot better, it flows better. And there you go. Well, there it is. There's our, our wire spool gun. And I thought it turned out pretty good. Now you don't have to just only do aluminum on this. You can do the regular hard wire, the core wire, you know, anything you want, you know, and uh, nice and light. I think it's only like a pound, two, three pounds, but really easy access. All your, your knob and your, uh, your gears are right up here. Now, if you do want to get the bigger spool and you put it on the, the main unit, that's a pushing and a pulling action with the with the wheels and uh, if it's comfortable for you go for it uh, either way I mean it's still you got the spool here if you need it and uh, I'm gonna play with it a little bit more because I need some practice and uh, I'm Rob thanks for joining me with longevity learning lab and we'll see you next time